Mineral resources of Azerbaijan, including more than 300 small and large ore deposits, cover almost all types of mineral raw materials needed for industrial development. Practice has shown that exploitation of ore deposits in our country is an activity that is associated with serious environmental damage, such as shattered landscapes, dust, explosions, evaporation of regions, water pollution, man-made mountains of waste, and so on. And in the meantime, profitability, depending on fluctuations on the market value of gold, sometimes descends to the level of... That is why the government of Azerbaijan adopted a special order aimed at having to develop and master the most modern and environmentally friendly technology of extraction of precious metals that will be applicable to ore deposits of Azerbaijan. This work was entrusted to the Institute of Geology and Geophysics of the Azerbaijan National Academy of Sciences. During a short period of time, an experimental base was formed and it allowed simulating leaching processes. With the help of the developed pilot plants, filters on the gold deposits of greater and less Caucasus have been carried out. The latest model is mobile and collected based on a car trailer. This model allows us not only to get the process parameters for the underground leaching, but also under certain conditions to exercise self-production of gold, silver, copper and other metals on a small scale. These works are helpful to prepare specialists and accumulate enough experience in technology. Also, some innovative approaches in this sphere were developed during this period of time. One of these projects relates to the use of innovative in-situ leaching technologies at gold deposits to Lalar in Azerbaijan. Reserves are estimated are for gold 17 ton, for silver 300 ton, with an average gold grade of 1.8 grams per ton. Typically, specialists try to make in-situ leaching in permeable and porous ore body to ensure the movement and maximum contact with target metals. Although it seems logical, but permeable medium has its drawbacks, mainly its inability to control underground solvent streams and as a result the inevitable loss and the risk of pollution. This can be avoided only if watertight barriers bound the ore bearing porous mass, but such convenient conditions are hard to find. This is one of the main limiting factors for in-situ leaching. At the same time, it is believed that waterproof or poorly permeable Mineralized masses are not suitable for in-situ leaching. At first glance, it seems that this is the case. However, our studies have shown that this fact can be successfully used to solve the problem of uncontrolled water leakage. If the solvent in dense media will not be freely spread, there will naturally be no need to worry about loss and contamination. But then the question arises, how to achieve contact with the leachable metal solvent if the solvent cannot leak out? After all, there are no miles underground. The solution was found in the study of mapping local concentration of gold in samples of Tullalar field and mechanical features of the ore crushing. It turned out that in the main quartzite mass, the gold is mainly found among mafic formations that are rich with kaolinite, sericite, barite, and others. When you hit with the hammer, ore cracks and crumbles into these relaxed sites to allow access of the solvent to gold. Furthermore, such a powerful oxidant as sodium hypochlorite that is used for dissolving gold can destroy many minerals and thereby create additional pores and microchannels. This means that there is no need to crush up the whole mass of rocks. It's enough to produce a series of micro explosions along the well bore. The technical solution that provides control over the flow of underground leaching was found through the use of features of mountainous terrain. Here is how it looks. Ore bearing vein is located between two steep slopes in that way that both ends of the vein are accessed up to the depth of 200 meters over the entire range. In addition, the vein extends above the surface and has slopes on both sides. Thus, the ore bearing bodies can be reached both from the ends and laterally. Taking into account this fact, it's proposed to create open at both ends horizontal walls network which means that well drilled horizontally from one slope or end passing the ore body must exit from the opposite slope or end will get an opportunity for any variations. In this case, the pressure leach solution is generated due to the difference of altitude and Rinash will be free-flowing. 
You can turn to alternate and change the stored pressure in drain well front and collect solutions from either end of the well to observe the flow of the liquid layers on each side and, if necessary, make additional explosive disintegration within the borehole. It is also possible to carry out a reverse flow from the bottom up if the feed solution under pressure in the bottom of the well and on the principle of communicating vessels to collect solutions from the upper horizon, or periodically watering and dewatering so certain areas to changing the direction of the solutions to the contrary to open a possible clogging. Thus, the implementation of the project, in addition to commercial gain and without damage to the environment, will allow following. Firstly, to work out the processing methods of the process in situ leaching for the impermeable rocks that is very important for the majority of the ore bodies. Secondly, to perform the profitable delivery of metal from unconditional ores, smaller deposits and fields that are absolutely unreachable for traditional technologies. And thirdly, on the basis of first experience and demonstrate the benefits of the use of in situ leaching in Azerbaijan will undoubtedly interest to a wide adoption of environmentally friendly technology for other similar ore objects.